I left to cook, and then since I joined with Rumi's, uh, you know, you feel a bit different because he, he provides the food for them because they need it. So you feel like, you know, I don't know how to tell it, but you feel like you feel good to, to, to feed people like, like this, you know. Uh, basically, uh, Nasi Bungkus London is um, uh, Malaysian street food. So we do have like uh, a la carte, we do have like mixed rice, with a uh, probably street food, Malaysian street food. To be honest, we serve them every day, but they're allowed to having here like uh, two, three times. Food. I want chicken and chips. Chicken and From chips. there, yeah. Okay, give me a second. Okay, they take card. Okay. okay. Thank you. What my role has taught me is to just be patient, to take every individual case by case. Um, so to be honest with you, I really can't stand when people make generic and sweeping statements about people with mental health because it's just so different for everybody. Um, but therein lies the problem, I think, going back to is the government or ever, is anyone doing enough? Like, I, I believe that everyone should have tailored help. And so therefore you're asking for, you're asking for a lot. Uh, so it's a, it's a difficult one. Thank you very much. Here you go, it's no worries, well. Take care. Take care. And see you tomorrow? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Thank you very much. Take care. Thank see you there. I have to say it's kind of a job that I feel is very beneficial uh, in the sense that again when you sort of deal with the public you deal with like people who come from maybe they've got like mental health issues or they've got the homeless um, it appreciates where you are you know I'm in a position where you know alhamdulillah that I'm in a position that I can help people Sometimes I'm like, oh, you know, just someone walks in and trying to help them and maybe they've got some mental health issues or something like that. And, you, you know, they're in that position, you're there to help and that's it. And, you know, and, some, and then when you get someone saying, oh, you know, just who's some, who's some sort of just appreciative of just giving them a meal or just giving them your time. But it's, it has its ups and downs. Uh, don't get me wrong, either, you know, uh, but I say majority of the time fulfillment and it's given me more of appreciation of where I am, things could be worse. Um, and just it's not about you, you know, it's, it's, it's you know, a life of service. It's hard, you know, it's not easy. I would say one of the most, the sole reason that people come into the centre, whether they're marginalised or not, is social isolation. I think we go through different spheres in life where different people, you know, connect with others, whether that's through educational means, whether that's like recreationally. Um, but then people struggle to find those connections outside of those, those spaces. I think community spaces and third spaces like Rumi's are able to offer people at different time frames in their life the opportunity to connect with other, whether that's through volunteering, whether that's just through sharing or attending an event. I think we've built quite a healthy community through people just coming through in that manner. In our time now, the world is reaching a position whereby the gap between those who have and those who have not has widely increased. Too many people are forgotten. And in our world here, in the Western world, in the past, these people, once suddenly they reach a position of despair and they are mentally disturbed, they are put into mental homes, hospitals. But in the last 15, 20 years, all these places are being closed down. Many of those people are in the streets. They did not choose to be in the street. 
They do not choose to be poor or to be ill. And I don't see them as people who have not achieved or why are they there. No, I see it as a test for me who's healthy, who have. Why am I confronting this person? Is it just to see somebody suffering? Or for me to better myself by seeing what I can do to help them? As I said earlier on, my motto from our Messenger Sallam, people are always in need of one another. However, only those who help will be helped. So by me helping the homeless, hoping that at my hour of need, someone will help me. That's the whole idea. I think Rumi's kitchen is important because it's open every day. I think there's a tendency for feeding projects to be seasonal, either only in the winter or only in the height of summer, but really food insecurity is 24 7, 365. So I think it's important that there is a regular service for people to attend. Five years actually since I last year. Like, give me some context. Okay, 2020, I came for the first time. Um, so at the Carton Vale? Yes, yeah, back in the back in the old space. Yeah, that space, that space. Yeah. 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 That space uh, but this is our own space, so it's alright. But uh, yeah, you were the first space that welcomed me in. And, uh, oh, what? Hello, <laughs> I think the community space is something that I didn't really understand when I was younger but as you grow up and as you get older you realize that community is something that has been around for generations uh, through the millennia that people have always needed people whether that's through like the family unit or the friendship unit community it's it's such a big question because a lot of people moved to places just for community. Their schools are around community. Um, so here at Rumi's, yes, we have that homely field where people can come and connect and come to events and make friendship. But I think it also has that, that's that everlasting quality where a lot of people feel like this is theirs. And that sense of ownership is something that we're really proud of. <laughs> Unfortunately, we live in a time and an age people are self-centered and very selfish and everybody is looking for their own. We are trying to bring the ideal of by looking after others, indeed you are enhancing yourself. Especially if you believe in God and God is one, what's the manifestation of oneness? You're going to a congregational prayer in a synagogue or a church or a mosque. No, the idea of that congregational coming together is to bond people together. The Creator Almighty said, we created you to know one another. Why? So that you can support one another. So, for this reason, my ideal, my vision for Rumi's Cave is for people to come together of different background, cultures, races, religion, in one space for one purpose, to help one another, to support one another, to stand together as human beings. For the Prophet Peter upon him says, you should not envy one another. You should not act jealous against one another. You should not abuse one another, slander one another, backbite one another, or even fight one another. But be servant of God, brothers and sisters. I just would like to say uh, uh, thank you for coming in your place and uh, I'm gonna have a, a good commentary on the trip advisors on room escape because uh, whenever it's closed it's always open there you go a good symbol eh? <laughs>